Last time on Quest for the Jank Lord, Tim called upon Mitch from the Commander's Quarters to fight as his proxy, an opportunity only afforded once per cycle of the seventh blood moon. Mitch proceeded to annihilate the others with his budget-building prowess, winning Tim a month back on Earth. This turn of events made the dudes wonder, are they any good at magic? Why is Mitch so attractive? And most importantly... What else is in that contract? That's the turn. At my upkeep, I'll put a negative two, negative two counter on the Ebon Praetor. Then I'll sacrifice my zero one thrall from Breeding Pit to remove the negative two, negative two counter. Uh, because I sacrifice the thrall, I'll put a plus one, plus zero counter on my Ebon Praetor. Then move to my draw step. Okay. Then I'll cast Throw Retainer on my Darelore for one and a black. Okay. Then move to combat and swing at you with my Praetor and Darelore for 11, which is exactly lethal. In response, I scoop. What? Before damage, I scoop. Did you just scoop at instant speed? Yeah, so what? Can you do that? Well, I don't want to get killed by the Flesh Sack Thrall thing. Well, I want you to be killed by the flesh sack thrall thing. Welcome back, Tim. What you got there? Oh, just a memento to remember Mitch by. He gave me a whole extra month with my daughter. I wish I could have a proxy win for me. I haven't seen my puppy in months. Gracie. What about my cats? Have they had their litter box changed in the last year? Are they even alive? I... I... I can't think of anything. Well, I guess I'll just have to beat you the old-fashioned way till the next cycle of the seventh blood moon. I just wonder if there's like another loophole in the contract. I mean, you found the first one by accident, really. We could just get some time alone with the contract, you know, and actually read it. Hold on, Tim. You brought that pig here from the real world, right? Yeah. That's not the first time we've done something like this. True. I brought Tim a shirt. Tim, I brought you a shirt. Thanks, Joe. 
That's right. And I brought back a spoon in episode two. Hey guys. If we can bring stuff in, I wonder if we can bring stuff. Well, hello, my little maggots. Oh, hello. Hey. Hi. Hello there. It has come to my attention that YouTube finds our audio quality subpar. It's time to test new microphones. So it doesn't, doesn't clip on there very easily. Hello? Can you guys hear me? La 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 la! Is that, is that working? No. Testing. Testing. Does this make me look good? No. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Next. I think this, I think this just plays sound. I don't think it records. Yo, can you hear me? Check one, two, check one, two, check, check. I can hear you. Loud and clear. Yup. Hello, are you talking? Yes. Can you hear us? I can't hear you. He can't hear us. Thanks, Joe. Hey, demon. You suck. Hello. Can you hear me or not? You guys, this is our chance to plan. How, how do we get the contract out of here? We could just ask if we could read it. I tried that last week. The demon told me to eat a salad. The, the winner needs to take it out of the dungeon. I think it's the only way. And risk extra torture? Good luck with that. I'm out. Tim, we can't quit now. Isn't, um, isn't, uh... Your, your child. It, her name is Luca. Luca, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna say that. Isn't Luca a good enough reason not to quit? Wait, I think I have an idea. I don't know why I didn't think of using the dongles of a Phyrexian broodling sooner. The new sound is incredible. Wheel master, spin the wheel of fate. <laughs> Choice. Today I smell a whiff of generosity about me. Let's play with the precons. Angie Falcon Rath. Savine, the Chronoclasm. Slinging Sorcera Kiri Conclave Exile Wait, where's Crick? My Elsha is missing. Uh, no Seedborn Muse or Sudden Substitution? Not even Soul Ring? What's... where's the good stuff? By good, do you mean expensive? Have you learned nothing, boy? Wheelmaster hawked the money cards for me at an LGS. Roshka. You'll have to replace the ten most valuable cards in your deck with verified jank. Seventy-nine cents or less, baby. Drawing for turn. I'll play an Opulent Palace. Comes in the Badful Tapped. Go ahead, Joe. 
Draw. I will play an Exotic Orchard, and I will pass. Draw. Return. I'm going to play a Terramorphic Expanse. I can sack it and search for a basic land, which I'm going to do. Pass to you. Okay. Draw. I will pay a Swamp and pass. Draw. I'll play an Island Passage. Plains. Pass. Untap. Draw. Sungrass. Prairie. Pass to you. Tap. Keep. Draw. Swamp. I will pay two to play an Armillary Sphere. Pass. Okay, drawing. I'm going to play a Thespian's sa Stage, and I will pay two and tap Thespian's Stage to create a copy of Opulent Palace. Pass. Draw the turn. I will play an island and pass. Woo! Gonna draw. I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm gonna tap three. Adding a green for Cultivate. Here you go. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Myriad Landscape, it enters tapped. I'm gonna pay two to tap and sacrifice this and I'll pass the turn and look well. All right, untap, upkeep, drawing. I will play a forest. I'll tap four. For my commander. Make way for the sleeping stinker. So I will play face down creature. It's free due to her ability and I get the draw card. Your turn. Draw mountain. Since Tim has an island, I will pay four, two blue, and two for Talran, Sky Summoner. Pass turn. Draw, tap all my mana, two of them are white, for Commander's Insignia. Cool. Oh, that's going to be a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> With Daniel playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. sure it will be. Um, then I will play a Selesnya Sanctuary for turn, and I will return a forest to my hand. Pass the turn. Mm. For the sake of transparency, I got a mountain and a swamp. Untap, keep draw, play a mountain, pass the turn. What do you think you got going on over there, Daniel? Drawing? <laughs> oh, he just wants to ramp. Yeah. I'm gonna pay four mana to play Teemer Sabretooth. And I will play a Golgari Rot Farm. And when it comes into the battlefield, it's tapped, and I return a forest to my hand. A and farm of rot. I will play a morph creature for free. That's a lot of, uh, that's a board. Tim's doing stuff. Yeah. And when I play my first morph creature, I get to draw a card. So draw a card. Then I will swing three at Joe. And two at Daniel. No blocks. No, no, no blocks. No I, offense. I have no mana to, to do any shenanigans, so. All right. Pass to Joe. Draw. I will play a Plains and. I think you should have attacked John since he's gonna have plenty of blockers potentially later. Uh, that's what know. I will do. I'm gonna move to combat and swing two at John. Boop boop! And pass. Draw. I will uh, play my own Exotic Orchard, which taps for Wilberg at the moment. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> you got it, dude. I'm gonna sack my myriad lamps landscape while you're thinking there. So I'm gonna tap one for a dragon master outcast, but I don't have six lands, so I don't oh. need to worry. And then I will tap white, green, red, and, uh, and two moss for guy red. It's a stampede. Great, so sick. Oh, I know. Pass the toying. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. I will play Temple of the False God. I can oh. add two colorless. We'll pay three to play my commander. Angel, mistress of madness. And I will play, uh, pay four to cast a Scare Tiller. Cool. Go ahead. That works with uh, that myriad lights. Sure yeah. does. Quite well. Oh, yes. Quite well indeed. Try to turn. I will play an exotic orchard. Oh. I'm gonna play a morph creature for my turn. For free. Draw a card. 
Oh, so many cards in that hand. I'm gonna pay two, one in the black, for mire and misery, and each opponent will sack a creature or enchantment. Oh. In response, I will pay four and play Chemist's Insight. I will draw two cards and make a 2-2. Two -two. Nice. Oh, good. Nice. I was nice. like, oh, that was uh -oh. <laughs> Then it resolves. All right, I'll sacrifice Dragon Master Outcast. I will sacrifice the 2-2 two -two that I just made. I will sacrifice Scare Tiller. I'm going to play uh, Cunning Evasion, which is an enchantment. Oh. And then I'm going to pay one black oh. to flip over Grim Horospex. Yes. We'll swing Grim Horospex at Daniel, mm -hmm. and we'll do... Die. And just return them to your I hand. I could. <laughs> well, I'm not going to block this one anyway, so I'll swing this one at Joe. Twice? Are you sure you want to do that? I'm not sending this one at you. Okay, well, I'm just asking if you would like to keep that board or... <laughs> <laughs> Daniel. Mm -hmm. Joe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no blocks. No blocks. No effects. You want to block that one? Yeah. Pass the Joe. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I will pay five and play my commander. Sabine and has play. taken the field. Yikes. That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to make an know. army of two twos. Flying two twos. Flying two twos. Or he's going to make an army of like seven eights and 14 19s and what? one you 16s don't... the past. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, lots to think about. Untap. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, I'm going to play an elemental bond. Whenever creature power three or greater enters oh, the battlefield under my control, draw a card. To Attack play. him! I considered it, remember? This is... Yeah, except for you came at me. I can't believe my deck's going off and I'm like... I'm like, don't go off yet. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Meanwhile, at the Falcon Wrath Estate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to pay four. Four, four. It Tangrath, the first mate. Um, and then I'll draw a card from Elemental Bond. And I will move to combat. Here we go. So I'm going to just swing here. And you have a nice, easy block. I do. you can just Sabine. Are you gonna do any tricksy things to me? No. Oh, you're tech out. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna swing with Girid to you. I'm gonna make my other Rhino. Tapped and attacking it. You. And I have a trigger before any combat damage happens. I'll draw from Elemental Bond. Mm. That's a uh, pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty. I like it. I will block your commander with Sabine. Okay. No blocks. No box? All right. So take four. Take four. And uh, you'll take No, I take five. Five. Correct. I'll pass the turn. All right. At your end step, I will uh, tap oh, Angie boy. to discard a mountain oh. and draw a card. Oh, good. Untap. I got excited. I thought, oh, it's happening. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just going off. <laughs> I will tap four to cast a Wildfire Devils. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield and at the beginning of my upkeep, choose a player at random. All right, Tim. So you are going to, uh, yeah, exile that, <laughs> and I will cast it. No. So you know, exile some. Each opponent sacks a creature or enchantment. Oh. If you want to sack either of those, <laughs> that'd be swell. Yeah. For you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sacrifice my tapped rhino. I will sacrifice Talrand. Hmm. I will sack. Skin thinner. Skin thinner. What the. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. And you get to exile that. Exiled. I will pass the turn. I'll keep drawing. I'm going to play a morph creature for free. Draw a card. I'll play a forest. For two mana, I will play explore. Play an additional land this turn. I'm going to play an island. Oh. And I will draw a card. Oh, so many cards to draw. <laughs> you could have copied that if you had waited the turn. Should have known. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap three mana to play another morph. Put 
that guy back here. Draw another card. Sure do. I'm gonna leave some blockers up this time. I'm gonna pass to Joe. Ooh. I will play a mountain and pass the turn. <gasps> what? He has all these instants. He has chemsters insight. I have chemisters in sight. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Um, draw. I don't know if this is good or not. I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna swing with this at, at Joseph again. Yep. Um, and then I'm gonna swing Tangrath at you. Okay. Just for the fun of it. Sure. And then I'm gonna make my Rhino attacking Timotei. So we go there. And I'm gonna draw from Elemental Bond. And then move to blockers. I will block your commander with city. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will uh, tap Angie to discard uh, Dark Withering. I will pay its madness oh. cost to destroy non-black creature. Okay. Uh, when I discard it, I will draw a card from Angie because it has madness. She will untap. Yes. Any blocks? I'm getting hit for four. Five. Five. I don't want to lose my stuff. I'll take five. Second main phase, we'll play War Storm Surge. Oh. Uh, that's the end of my turn. All right, at your end step, I will tap her to discard a mountain and draw a card. Upkeep, uh, I will choose a player at random. You get explore. I get Yay. to explore. See? It worked out. Okay. Should've known. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this floor is exiled. Okay, so I get to play an additional land. And draw a card. And draw a card. You could draw right, it or you I could draw it. I will draw it. Yeah. And then I will draw for turn. Yes. I will pay two for a bloodthirsty blade. Ooh. Ooh I like yes. It. I will pay one to attach this blade to the <gasps> seamer ta teamer saber tooth. <laughs> seamer taper tooth. Yeah. So, so it has, has to, to attack, attack, but it can't, can't attack, attack you. me, yeah. Herbs made it bigger for you. And, yeah. Mm. And it's indestructible. And it's indestructible, potentially. <laughs> I will pass the turn. <gasps> Untap. Keep Upkeep draw. Play a morph creature for free. Draw a card. We're gonna swing at John. Wah! I'll swing those at John. All of them? Yeah. The Haru specs? Oof. Two morphs, a Haru spec, and a saber tooth with a... We'll block the Haru specs. Okay. I'll return it to my hand. Okay. From Cunning Evasion. So I take uh, six... Ten. Plus yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Boop. That's a chunk of damage. Then for four, I'll play Scare Tiller. And then I'm going to tap Thespian Stage and turn it into... Golgari Rot Farm. Hmm. And then I'll pass to Joe. At the end of your turn, I will cast Think Twice, and it just says draw a card. It has flashback for two and a blue. Hmm. Untap, upkeep, draw. For three, I will play Rolling Temblor, hmm. which deals two damage to each creature without flying. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to kill all my Morphies. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay two to return Brian Elemental and put that back to my hand. Mm. Well, skips are, oh my gosh. And then all of my morphs will die. So no responses. No response for nope. me. It resolves two damage to everything without flying. All right. Den yeah. Protector. Yep. Bane of the Living, which is a board, board wipe, but yep. I didn't want to kill all my stuff. Mm -hmm. And Will Bender. Okay. Uh, Sabine will not take any damage. And Wildfire Devils will take all the damage. Well, <laughs> and then there's two damage marks on everything, because my follow-up play has nothing to do with that. Oh. So it's, like, <laughs> it's like, oh no. It's like, okay, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm just going to pass the turn. <gasps> Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Okay. No, that seems okay. That's you know fine. this means war. Well, now you don't have to <laughs> deliberate about whether or not to attack. That's true. Thank you, Joe. Yes. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Brian Elemental is part of an infinite combo. Yes. It's not infinite. It's very it's close. You could just 
morph it with team or save, you could just pull it back with team or save too. I would still have to pay the cost. You have to pay the costs, yes. But <laughs> but oh, it is infinite. It's an infinite combo that says we don't if, get to if, untap anything. If he gets to if he resolves it. If he resolves it. So, so we, can we don't know it. what his morphs he has in hand though. We know he returned. Mm -hmm. So what the Joe is saying right now is he has counter spells in his hand. I do. I have a counter spell, <laughs> and it's pointed at you, Mister <laughs> Attack. Or you attacked him, so he's probably more upset at you. Um, but I, but I don't. I have no way of knowing because it's cast face down. Right. Hmm. A conundrum. I think he has to die. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm gonna cast Flame Rush Rider for its dash cost, and it is entering the battlefield, and it is three or greater. So I'm going to draw a card. And Warstorm Surge is going to trigger, so I deal 4 damage, because it's a 4-4 four four from Commander's Insignia. I'm going to deal 4 damage. Um, I think I'm going to have to go after the Team Receiver. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and that is to damage. Oh, I get the blade back. And I will move to combat. Yes. I'm going to swing it at Joseph with Flame Rush Rider. I'm going to swing at with Gearhead to Tim. Tan, to Tim. And then I'm going to swing a Rhino. At Joe, and a Rhino at Dan. Okay. All right. So when Geared attacks, I make a I populate. When Flame Rush Rider attacks, I make another creature. So I'm gonna do a Rhino and a Rhino. So I'll draw one from each of those Rhinos, and I'll War Storm Surge from each of those Rhinos. One targeting Anji, one targeting Kadena. All right. So five damage to Anji and Kadena. And then these two Rhinos are both gonna go towards Tim. Okay, in response to that, I will tap Angie to discard Violent Eruption. I will pay its madness cost of three to deal four damage to the rider. Okay. Um, and I will draw a card from that and untap her. Um, and I will tap her again to discard a swamp and draw a card. And then she's going to die. She's, she goes bye bye. Kadena dies. So, move to blocks. I'll block one of the rhinos with this. I will also block a rhino. Okay. So, um, the rhino, so three will trample over from you. Yes. And one of the ri the This dies, I get one damage from that rhino. Yep, yeah, okay. okay. So Dan takes five. five. Tim takes... Nine. Uh, and I am taking three damage from the trample damage from the rhino. Yeah. And then I'm going to end of combat... That from the Flame Rush Rider. Second main phase. Gotta kill this guy. Yeah. Hmm? This guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, two, three for a rock egg. And I will pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Oh, command tower. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do I play this game? I will pay four to cast a Skyfire Phoenix. I like it. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. I think I want to goad something to get some of these demons off off my back. This feels weird, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to pay five to cast Beacon of Unrest. <laughs> Dragon Master Outcast is going to give you flying five fives yeah, next yeah, turn. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'm going to target Dragon Master Outcast in John's. Graveyard. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to shuffle the beacon back into my library and pass the turn, I guess. <laughs> the hasty bird is <laughs> staying back on blocks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, untap. Upkeep draw. I'm going to pay six for Kadena. Mm -hmm. oh, Play a morph creature for oh, free. Brian Elemental. Draw a card. And I'll pass to Joe. Untap, upkeep, draw. Really? Yeah. But I don't really want to draw four cards and then have to discard. Card selection. Yes, but I like all the cards in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> for three, I will cast Burning Vengeance. And then for four, I will cast, cast Dusk, which says destroy all creatures with power three or greater. Oh. There it is. Mm. Wow. We needed that. Oh, that, that's Those nice. rhinos were getting kind of scary. This does put another counter on his uh, insignia, oh, however. Yeah, it does. In response, I will pay three to flip over Ice 
Feather Aven, oh. and when it is turned face up, I can return another target creature to its owner's hand. Oh. I'll return Kadena to my hand. Right. Yes. That's good. After Dusk resolves, I will pass the turn. Good. Untap. Upkeep. We still get it. Dragon. Draw. Knock. I'm going to pay seven um, for Girid. Commander's Insignia goes up. I will draw my card and Warstorm Surge. Dragon Master Outcast. Oh, Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Sabine. Uh, this goes to you. Yeah, it does. Okay. And then when Girid enters the battlefield, I create a Rhino, um, which is going to draw me a card and Warstorm Surge. Wow. And this time, it's going right at your face because you made me kill all my rhinos. For six? Yep. I didn't make you kill all your rhinos. I killed all your rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> Pay three for Fires of Yabo Maya. Yowzers! He's just beaten down. We got some hasty big boys here. Give them all to Joseph. Uh, Dan? You made me get rid of my rhinos. I, I can do it again, and I can make it so you can't cast your commander again, if you would like. Those sound like fighting words. You should put all of that damage in Joe. I am. It so already <laughs> is all coming at me. <laughs> so rhino enters, up. draw a card, uh, and deal... Oh at least gosh, at I'm... least deal the Warstorm to Dan. That works. He is at the highest life total. And it's four, five, six. Taking six to the face? To the face. That is a paltry number compared to how much damage I'm about to take. <laughs> I think Dan's up for a, a clobber next turn. Yeah? Me? Well, you, you trampled well, you over nice. me and yeah, Joe that's now. True, I have. But he hasn't been mean to me this game, which is very rare for Daniel. It's true. Uh, how much damage? It's 16. Okay. Actually, I can, block, can block everything from Garrett. Yeah, you can block four. So I'll take 12. 12. I will move to. End step, discard all planes. Pass two. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna pay five yep. to cast Angie. I'm gonna pay one to put this blade on this rhino here. So be it. <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. One, two, three, four. For Kadena, mm -hmm. I will play a Morph, draw a card, and for 7 mana, I'm going to flip this for Brian Elemental. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, thank man. you. Ooh. Thank you for all tapping yes. most of your mana. Yes. Does your little, that doesn't have flying, so I'll swing for 2 at John. No locks. And pass the turn. Uh, no untap, upkeep, draw, and pass the turn. Um, I will also not untap, upkeep, draw, and pass the turn. All right. Upkeep, draw. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was invisible for an entire turn, but the Skyfire Phoenix. Just Photoshop is right it in. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I guess I'll do it. I will play a put a Mortuary Mire into play, and Ooh. I'll put the Wildfire Devils on top of my library. There it is. Pass the turn. All right, untap. Oh. Because I get to untap. He's going to do it again. Draw. Somebody could block. <laughs> Who wants to block? <laughs> oh, yikes, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, that is murderous. Take five, or everyone at the table skips their untap step. Forever. <laughs> I'll play a morph creature. And burn. And I will draw a card. Yep. I saw you counting your mana like a banker over there. <laughs> like a banker. <laughs> you scout. I'm going to play Nebraska. Oh. Unseen. I feel like Warstorm Surge is really scary. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's that's a game ending. <laughs> with your attack. With this. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Warstorm Surge. I mean that needed to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. And then do it over. Alright. 
Uh, I will swing Brian Elemental at John. All right. Well, in response, I will take my damage. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass the turn. <sighs> Untap. I'll keep <laughs> draw. All right. For five, I'm going to cast the Aftermath of Dusk, which is Dawn. Return all creature cards with power two or less from my graveyard to my hand. So I'm going to... I could copy it, but it would only ever just get me Talrand. So I have one Burning Vengeance trigger. Is it any target? Yeah. Any Vraska? I mean, any target? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I will aim the two damage at Vraska. Okay. She, she did her deed. Yes, she, she did. did. For four... I'm so nervous. <laughs> I will... Cast Crackling Drake, oh, oh. and its power is equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards I own in exile and in my graveyard, mm. which is currently four. And when he enters, I will draw a card. This card. Pass and hopefully not die. <laughs> At the end of your turn, I'm going to pay two. And I should have done this with the Brian Elemental, but I was stupid, so. So I'll populate by creating a Rhino token. Mmm. And uh, I draw from the uh, Rhino and turn the battlefield. Mm. Untap. Untap. Nice I draw. I will cast for one, two. Intangible Virtue. Creature tokens. Untap. Creature tokens you control have plus one, one in Vigilance. Oh my gosh. And then for one, two, three, four, five, six... What's about to happen? Something big. Seven. Seven. Eight. Yikes. Uh, Arhelion two. And um, in response. Yeah. Okay. Four. Six. Because I really don't want that on your side of the table. We're gonna flip. Karu spell snatcher. Yep. When it's turned face up, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it, and instead of putting it in its own graveyard. <sighs> Um, I may cast it without paying its own <laughs> cost as long as it remains exiled. I have to wait till yeah. my turn. So it's an exile. Okay. I wanted something juicier than that, but we can't have that on his side. No, that's a... <laughs> that makes me really, really <laughs> sad. I was really happy when you kept tapping more and more mana, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty fun. <laughs> okay, well that changes things, but not too... <laughs> so I'm Still going to clobber us. move to combat. First off, we're going to swing Gearhead at Danny Boo Boo. Okay. Um, we're going to swing Bloodthirsty Blade Rhino at you. It's, they're vigilant. They are vigilant. Um, we're going to swing all of these at you. Because you're Trixie. That's 18. That's 20 damage. Yep. And then Gearhead makes another Rhino. Woof. Which... Uh, Triggers my draw. Hmm. This is a... It's a 9-7. Seven. Seven. It's a 9-7. Seven. And the other rhinos are 7-7s. Seven, seven, so. Oh, yeah. Gross. Wow. So you're coming at me with 7-14-23? 21 plus 9 is 30. So I have to block everything otherwise I die pretty much. Yeah. No, I will die. 30, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. That is lethal. Cool. Well, four blocks. Um, I will tap to discard Gorgon Recluse and pay your madness cost. Yep. Draw a card and untap her. Um, and she will block that. When she blocks or becomes blocked by a non black creature, destroy that creature. Okay. At, end At the of end combat. of combat? Yeah. Okay. So, so she'll die. Gira dies. You didn't want to save me? <laughs> there is no saving you this time, Timmy. Again. Welcome back to the dungeon. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the end of my turn. Alright, at your end step, I will tap Angie to discard Champion of Stray Souls to draw a card. Uh, still at your end step, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. pay one to basic land cycle Ash yeah. Barons. Oh, very good. Yeah. All right, so I got us one. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I will tap 
three to play Faith of the Devoted. Yes. Whenever I cycle or discard a card, I may pay one. If I do, each opponent loses two life and I gain two life. Uh, pass. At the end of your turn, uh, I'll go to my turn. <laughs> okay. Good. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, like this. For four, I am going to jumpstart Chemistry's Insight, discarding Fervent Denial, and I will copy it. So I will draw four cards, yep. mm. and I will deal two damage to your face. Doop, doop. While you're thinking, I'm going to uh, crack Cross and Verge for a plains and a sure. forest while you're doing that. Uh, then for four, I will cast Murmuring Mystic. And then for three, I will retrace, think, no, flashback, think twice, uh, and draw a card. I will draw two cards, and make two birds, mm -hmm. still be dead. Uh, but I can deal two damage to your face again. <laughs> and uh, hope that Dan can... Do something. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Move to end step. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I will discard Terramorphic Expanse, Burnished Heart, and Dreamstone Hedron. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. For a wingmate rock, it's more than three, so I'll draw a card. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six. For the soul of Zendikar, <laughs> so I will draw off the soul of Zendikar. Explore. I can play an additional land per turn and draw a card. No lands. And then I'll cast a white and that and make Cliffside Rescuer. And because of my commander's insignia, it is above three, so I'll draw a card. Now I move to combat. Vigilance, so I'm going to swing this at Joe. And you have 13 toughness. You have six toughness. Yes. Or, yeah. Okay. These are, this is a six, four, 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 six, six. Two, two, three, four, and then just add three to everything. Uh, except for the non tokens, those only get plus two. Um, I'm gonna uh, gain my life from Wingmate Rock, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this does not have vigilance, and this does not have vigilance. Gotcha. Um, before blocks, tap Angie to discard Archfiend of Spite. Okay. I will pay its madness cost of five and an extra one. Um, whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to Archfiend, that can, source's controller loses that much life unless they sacrifice that many permanents. Um, and I did pay this, so you're going to lose, you both lose two life and I'm going to gain two life. Angie will yep. un untap. Yep. Um, Alright, I think I'm donkers, but I'm going to block the rock, the rock with yep. the, this, and Angie's going to block one of the big things okay i don't know if you're i don't think you're dead before damage i yeah, will yeah. tap her to discard wildfire devils to drop her and i will pay one yep. to yep. do that all right so now we're going to blocks yes if i do two i take seven and go to one yeah i'll just block with sabine no effects okay so seven is coming over at you okay so two of these are unblocked, so 14 for sure. Yep. Um, and then four more, so 18. And this is unblocked. Okay, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, and then this is all blocked, yeah. So I'm sacking a lot of permanents. You are, yes. Sack all your land. <laughs> so how much are you taking right now? 22. I'm taking 22. Yes. Yep. I'm probably made a mistake. I have yeah. a deal for you, Daniel. Okay. Uh, Anji. That dies, mm -hmm. Sabine is okay. Right. So I'm we... sacrificing Rock Egg and seven mana. Okay. That wasn't so bad <laughs> for you. 
wasn't so bad for you. Man. <laughs> I mean. And then when Rock Egg dies, I yeah, let it go. Three, three. Pass the turn. All right, Daniel. Yes. So clearly, I am not in a position to win. But I am in a position to help you beat John. Really? Yes. So if you let me live this turn, I will do my best to do as much damage as I possibly can to John. I do have flyers, so it can be a considerable amount. And then you do as much damage as you can to him. I'll do the rest, and then you can kill me on the crackback. I'm your best bet to beat John. It's true, you are. I, I shall not touch you, as far as I know. Yes. As far as I... Just don't pay for that. <laughs> right, yeah, that's right. That would be important. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. This is all at sorcery speed. It's going to be great. I'm going to pay two to cast Murderous Compulsion. Target tapped creature. Target tapped creature. I'll take care of the rock. Okay. I am very scared of what you have in store for me. We'll see. Hopefully I can... Cook something up. I'm gonna pay four to cast a Hedron Archive. Sick. Yes. And then I will pay uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tapping seven, to cast Boneyard Parlay. Choose me and I'll give you all your stuff. All right. You can. Yeah, I can make two piles. <laughs> all right. I will choose these five creatures from my own graveyard. Joe, I'll let you put, put them, them in the pile. Pot, two piles. Okay, let's see. All right, uh, this will be one of the piles, this will be the other. Okay, I'm gonna choose uh, this pile. Yes. And they will enter the battlefield. When uh, Wildfire Devils enters the battlefield, I will choose a player at random. <laughs> okay. What do you Cold got? Hold sorcery. Yep. Or prevent all damage. Or draw. Wildfire Devils are... Interesting. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah. You don't have any tokens? No. You can prevent the combat to have to lead all to you and populate. Yeah, sick, thanks. <laughs> Pass the turn. Yes. Untap. <laughs> Upkeep. Draw. <laughs> it's so tense. This is uh, kind of wild. I am not ready for any of this. <laughs> I'm not good at it. Four. Good. The Wanderer. Oh. Oh. It has a minus two ability of exile target creature with power four or greater. I'm gonna do that immediately and target that bird. In response, I'll sacrifice this. Give it protection. Give it protection. Oh. Hmm. I will pay two for intangible virtue. Yep. That's when that straws. For four, I'm gonna cast Ignite the Future. Oh gosh. So, top three, refuse. Plains and Sahili. How much mana do you have? I have two. Two mana. So until my next turn, I may play those cards, which I don't know that mm -hmm. I will survive to have a next turn, but still, it puts one in my graveyard. So now the Drake's power is one, two, three, and the cards I have in exile are three, so it is six. I will go to combat and swing four. 10 at you. I will block the bird. Oh, the crackling Drake with protection. Okay, so Drake dies. No. Oh, yeah, because he's plus a billion. Yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't. That's right. And you take four. Sorry, Daniel. I did hey, the best that I could. Yeah, we, we do what we can. Pass turn. All right, on tap. He's got it like a negate or something in hand. Like I can just smell it. I'll draw for turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Convoking out. Oh no. An hour of reckoning. Destroy all non-token creatures. Uh, in response. Uh, nothing. Oh! <laughs> okay. So all non-token creatures are destroyed. Soul of Zendikar. Right. Sabine, Murmuring Mystic. I will tap to. That wasn't actually so brutal for me. Discard and draw. I will move to <laughs> combat. And I will swing. You can just do it with the blade. I only need to take one. 
I'm gonna, well, I don't know if you have shenanigans or not. I'm gonna swing all of these at you, and these two at you. Okay. In response to attacks, I scoop. Huh? In response to Joe scooping, I also scoop. What? You can't scoop at instant speed. Yeah, guys, come on. Well, we just did. Sorcery speed scooping only. Where does it say that? In the rules. Where? I want to see it. Yeah, let's see the fine print, you demon. You don't think I know what's in there? I wrote it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody, hold on to your crested sun mares. No need to get heated. As an unbiased third party in this argument, I'll read the contract. You'll find it in section 16, article 12, subsection... You know what? No. It's fine. I believe you, demon. I won't insta-speed scoop. Instead, I'll take the damage and go to zero. Yeah, fine, demon. Me too. This will teach you to question me. That was unnecessary, but we have a winner. Hand over the giant lord. Thank you. Enjoy the spoils, Johnny. <laughs> what just happened? Oshkoto no sto contracta. No! They must not be allowed to read the entirety of the contract. He won a month. I cannot break contract. This deception will not go unpunished. Bring the others to the torture chamber immediately. We cannot retrieve him, but we can retrieve the contract. The time has come. Summon the Endling.